Hi, this is an overview of chapter 1. It's a very short chapter with only two sections. And we have only two main goals here. The first is to bring everyone to the same page regarding the language we use for science. You will pick up a lot of that as you read through the chapter. And to double check it, you can review the glossaries at the end of the chapter. If uh, any of the terms in the glossaries look unfamiliar as you look at them, you can search for them in the chapter and see them in context. For example, derived unit. Derived unit. And you will find it in the context. And you can review anything you missed on your first reading that way. The second is to start talking about units. While we won't spend nearly as much time on units as I do when I teach engineering physics class, I want you to start getting used to this idea. Every physical quantity has to come with a unit. You will see this idea in practice when we start introducing derived physical quantities such as force and energy, and that will relate to this idea of derived units. Oh, and I guess we have one more small thing. It's the SI unit system we are going to be using mainly. I guess this actually goes with the unit and the metric prefixes. I won't quite make you memorize them. You can include them in your formula sheet for exams, but it is a good idea to know them well. You can impress your friends with your knowledge of just how small a nanometer is compared to a meter. It's uh, uh, one billionth of a meter. <laughs> Um, please send me any questions and don't forget to get started in the homework early. Bye.